Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we will give you a detailed introduction on how to create your own top list configuration in the Charts Watcher Stock Scanner. A top list is a list that sorts all stocks by a specific criteria. Additionally, you can specify different filters, so that you only see stocks that match the filter criteria. A simple example would be a list that only shows stocks between $5 and $20 and sort them after their daily volume, so you can see which ticker has the most volume for the day in that price range. In this tutorial we will create two example top lists. One to find overextended stocks that we can potentially short on a pullback and another one to find the top gainers during pre-market. We will start with the overextended stocks top list. The first step is to navigate to the top list configuration page via the navigation bar. Here, you click on the add button to create a new configuration. You can also use the duplicate button on one of the existing top lists if you want to use them as a base to create your own top list. First we will give the top list a name and after that we have to choose after which filter the top list will be sorted. To find overextended stocks we want to pick 20 day change criteria. In the next field we can then decide if we want to sort the tickers from high to low values or the other way round. After that we have to decide which filter we want to apply to the top list. Some default filters are already selected. To configure more filters, you can click on select filter button. In the open list, you can choose from all available filters. We can click on the help icon to get more details about the filter. Here you can see which options are available and what volume threshold is applied for each filter. If the daily volume of a ticker is below the threshold of a filter, it will not be picked up by the filter until the volume threshold is reached. You can find a more detailed overview over all available filters by clicking on the help section in the menu and then navigating to the filter section. Now we populate all filters we need for our configuration with suiting numbers. We start with the price and set it to over $20. Note, the combination of the type, over, and 20 in the minimum field is the same as the type, between, with 20 in the minimum field and an empty maximum field. After that we can delete some of the default filter which are not needed. Set the 5 day change to a maximum of 200% to get rid of weird stocks. Lastly, set the relative average 10 day volume to over 1 million, so we don't see low volume stocks. After all filters are set, we can switch to the Source tab. Here you should see NYSE, NASDAQ and Amex selected as default. This should be OK in most cases. If you want to include other data sources, you can add them here. Now, check that you don't have selected a watchlist as a restriction in the Watchlist tab. The last point we have to configure are the columns we want to see in the dashboard. We delete the columns we don't need and add some others which could be useful. In the process, we can also set a color scheme, so it is easy to quickly identify different numbers by their cell color in the dashboard. In the last tab, Summary, you can get an overview of everything we just configured. Now we can go to the dashboard and select the top list we just created to look at the results. If we are satisfied, we can go back to the configuration page and create our second top list for the top pre-market gainers. We will start with an already configured top list here, as I just want to show you the particularities you have to keep in mind when creating a top list for pre-market. The top list is sorted by, change from close pre-market, and we apply the following filter, a price above $5, a minimum pre-market volume of 10,000 and the change from close pre-market above zero. Note, if you click on the help icon of the filter, you can see a section, calculated during. Here are three options possible, pre-market, market and post-market. A top list will only work during pre-market if all filter have the option, pre-market, listed. As soon as you add one filter that is not calculated during pre-market, the whole top list will show nothing. You can check that by clicking on the summary tab. If we, for example, add the, change from close, filter, which is only calculated during market, we can see in the summary tab the sentence, it will only work during market hours because of the filter, change from close. Note, you can also see which filter has the highest volume threshold. If we remove the filter again, the line is now missing and we know that all filter are calculated during pre-market. Lastly we switch to the dashboard again and look over the top list we just created. I will show you again what happens if you add a filter that is not calculated during pre-market. I hope you got a good overview on how to create your own top list configuration and how to use the summary tab to find issues in your configuration. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to follow our official Twitter account to be the first to be informed about new tutorials videos.